this video I'd like to show the calculations for a 28-day Treasury bill. So um, there's lots of different types of treasure, U.S. Treasuries. There's savings bonds, there's Treasury notes, Treasury bonds, and this is Treasury bills. So I did a video already on Treasury notes, where every six months they pay you some interest. Treasury bills are a little different. And there's a 28-day treasury bill. There's a 13-week, which is like a quarter. So 28 days is like a month. 13 weeks is a quarter. Um, there's a 26-week treasury bill, which is like half a year. And then a 52-week treasury bill, which is a year. And how they work is you, you do not get um, paid every um, six months or whatever. Um, or every, you know, so many, but like half of the time, you know, um, you basically, so you don't get those interest payments periodically like that. What you get is um, a lump sum at the end. So this is, this is, these are what are called a zero coupon bond because there's no interest, there's no periodic interest payment. So how it works is this. Let's just say right now, the, 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 the price right now is really close to 100. Um, currently for these 28-day um, treasury bills. Um, well, let me back up a bit. So among event, uh, investments like stocks, bonds, silver, gold, all that stuff, um, so-called plain vanilla U.S. treasuries are the closest thing you can get to a guaranteed investment. And among U.S. treasuries, the treasury bills are the most guaranteed. And among treasury bills, the 28-day treasury bills are the most guaranteed. So these are essentially like cash. They're going to give you a little bit more than cash. I'll get into it a little later how you can do a little better than that. And again, read my disclaimer. I'm not a licensed professional adv uh, advisor. Um, I'm just an amateur investor. So... Take everything here, I believe everything here to be true, but take it with a grain of salt, etc. So I'm gonna show, that you, show you the calculation. So how it works is this. So it, like I said, the rates right now are pretty high. The um, price, I should say. But let's say that um, they're $99 in, um, I don't know, 90 cents. So what's going to happen and then you just want one treasury bill. The minimum is $100. The increment is also $100. So you can spend $100, 200, 300, etc. So what you would do, you could go into say treasurydirect.gov, set up an account, and you would give the government, the federal government, $99.90. Now actually what happens is there's a big auction and you can just kind of take what um, take what price is given to you. You know, there's lots of people that go to the auction. Um, I believe banks, companies, the big players, right? And um, but as us re us retail investors, pretty much just take what's given to us. You know, so <clears throat> so this price, this ninety nine dollars and ninety cents, comes from the result of an auction. So that's what you would pay. So you're going to pay them $99.90 for one treasury bill, one 28-day treasury bill. Now what's going to happen is after this 28 days is up, they will give you your $100. So you've made, of course, you've made 10 cents in that transaction. Now I understand that rate is incredibly Wow, I've made 10 whole cents after a month. But remember, this is like cash. So it's pretty much the most, it's like the most guaranteed investment you could possibly make. So of course, you're taking less risk, so you're going to get less reward. But it has some uh, benefits, which I'll, I'll discuss. Okay. And obviously, I wouldn't want, I would not want to put all of my money in this. But on the other hand, I wouldn't want to put just a little bit in either because it is a solid investment. 
But so anyways, you would give them $99.90. After 28 days, you would have $100 deposited into your account. So you gain uh, 10 cents. So it's kind of like every 28 days, someone is going to come to your doorstep and put down 10 cents on your welcome mat. And it's pretty much almost 99.9999% guaranteed you'll get the 10 cents. So it's really good for planning things. Hey, every 10 days or every 10 months, I get a dollar. You know, you can think of it that way. Um, whereas with stocks, for example, one month you might get, you know, one period of time you might get a lot of money. The other period of time you might lose money. Overall, I think stocks are just fine, but I'm just saying that's the fluctuation. That's the difference with stocks, for example, one difference. Um, okay, anyways, so the monthly yield, I just divide the 10 cents by the price that you pay to get, you know, you're making 0.1%, which again is like nothing, but it's not nothing. It's greater than zero. It's greater than what gold or silver would give you. It's a positive yield, okay? So this is the APR, this formula here. Bond math is a little weird. Um, they have some conventions, like 365, 28 days. That's one way to do it. You can also do 365.25, and then the actual number of days, the actual number of days in the time in the time period. Um, and again, I, I will refer you to the bond math book. But this, this formula does not consider the compounding of interest. Of course, your interest compounds, and that's the APY, which is this formula. So that's a little different, right? Now, one, thing, one benefit, another benefit of treasuries is that you, um, they're exempt from state tax, state and local tax. They should say state and local tax. I believe that's true. So this is the um, EAPY. I guess the effective, uh, I believe it stands for the effective APY. So effectively, the rate's this because um, you take the APY and divide it by one minus the tax rate. So where I live, that's the, uh, the tax, state tax. So the effective rate is 1.39%. Okay, uh, for a year. Remember, these are on a yearly uh, basis. Okay, so <clears throat> one thing with, with any investment really, but it's especially handy with treasuries because you can plan it out. You know, I know at the end of 28 days, I'm getting 100 bucks. So I can say, I have a choice to make at the end of 28 days. I can, I can do whatever with the cash or I can reinvest it. So if I reinvest it again, say this price is the same, then 28 days later, I'll get another 10 cents and then another 10 cents and another 10 cents and so on. On Treasury Direct, you can do this, um, set it up automatically. And for um, a 28 day treasury bill, you can do that reinvestment um, 25 times. So you're basically paying, you know, $99.90. Now, of course, from month to month, this price will change because it's coming from an auction. But let's just assume for math, mathematical sake, it stays constant. So every month you get 10 cents and that would happen uh, 25 times in a row. And so from that process, you'd make $2.50, right? So that's what this table here shows. The first year, $100. The price we bought it for was $99.90. We've gained 10 cents. Our cumulative gain is just 10 cents because we've only done it for one month. And this is just a running yield. I'll keep track of the, what do I keep track of? The, I keep track of the cumulative gain and divide it by the price I paid. 
So second month, we gain that we just keep gaining ten cents every month, as I mentioned. And so the cumulative gain just goes up and up and up by ten cents. And so your yield, your effective yield, just goes up and up and up. And um, at the end of twenty-five months, like I mentioned, you'd have two dollars and fifty cents, and your yield would be two point five percent. Your running yield. Because I'm taking the total gain and dividing by the price I pay, as I mentioned. So anyway, so those are some things <clears throat> that I wanted to point out that it's probably, if I had to define what an investment is, 28-day treasury bill is the most guaranteed investment, bar none. And, um, but because of that, its rates are very low. And you just kind of have to put up with that. Now on Treasury Direct, you can set up this automatic reinvestment process for up to 25 times. And then of course, after the 25th time, you can always start over again. You'd have your $100 back. You just buy a new bill, a new 28-day Treasury bill, and you can start over. So it's, it's very, very powerful because you can, again, with any treasury, you can. there's a mathematical formula. You can plan it out into the future. Now, like I said, these prices from time period to time period, they're going, they're going to change because they come from an auction. Let's just throw some numbers here and see what would happen. So let's do $99.90. Whoops, that's what I just did. <laughs> How about $99.95? So you can see how these numbers change and these numbers change. Obviously about in half because you're receiving five cents now instead of ten cents. Let's do ninety-nine dollars and seventy-five cents. So you would get a quarter every time. And now these rates are they're looking pretty good, right? They're looking pretty good. Now I doubt it's going to go that low the price, but you never know. Let's do $99.98, or 95, pardon me, just to stay on 90, just to stay on track. So the way I did the spreadsheet is, if you just buy one treasury bill, you just put a one there. Say you wanted to buy three treasury bills. Put a three there. So now you're paying $99.90 times three, which is this $299.70. Uh, and you compare that now to a hundred uh, to three hundred dollars, because that's how much you're spend. That's how much you're going to get back after 28 days. So you will have made 30 cents. Okay. Anyways, I just wanted to share that. Um, so treasury bills are a great um, addition to any investing portfolio. It's essentially like cash, but just a little bit more, because it's actually paying you something extremely reliable you can kind of set it up on autopilot um, like I said you have 13 week 26 week and also 52 week Treasury bills which pay you more than the 28 day Treasury bills so this would be for a 13 week this is like well this price is going to be a lot cheaper and same thing for the 52 week you know, instead of 99.99, which is like what it, uh, which is like what it is now for a 28 day, these are more like 99.95, 99.75, and so forth. Of course, you have to wait longer to get your money back, so it's more risk, so more reward. Um, anyways, that's all I got. I hope this helped a lot and maybe demystified treasury bills a little bit. Um, but that's all I got. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.